I'm Sarah Richardson. This is Marjorie. This is Marjorie's living room and dining room. And this is what Marjorie's living room and dining room look like now, thanks to some help from Design Inc. Nathaniel loves to push his car. Hey. Me, not so much. That's why mine's in the shop. So I'm cabbing it to meet Nathaniel's mom. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Marjorie, Deborah, and Nathaniel have been in this house for six months. Wow. And it's about time to put some furniture in the living room. Are you going to use this sort of as an everyday room, or do you want this to be polished and more for entertaining? Polished and more for entertaining. How many people do you want to have in here? I mean, our Christmas party, sometimes we can have 50 people in okay. the space. Okay. They'd be standing, I assume. OK. I see it now. <laughs> Classroom chairs. And we're done. OK. Do you have any ideas, any concepts of what you like and what's going to make you happy? I would like it to be pretty. OK. <laughs> Color, pattern, bold, subdued. I mean, there's some really nice wallpapers that uh -huh. Some texture. Right. I just wouldn't know how to pull it into a room. Okay. But that would appeal. I'm a gynecologist. Don't know about furniture, really. Too much information. <laughs> that was too honest, wasn't it? <laughs> Marjorie has a 20 month old son, and that's a pretty important consideration when designing a room. If your son's running to play outside, Not is he going to be tearing through with the Tonka truck through he here? Might try. He might try. He's stuck right there, <laughs> little man. <laughs> All right, we're making an adult space. Anything else I should be keeping in mind? Anything else we need to tackle? The only issue is that this connects immediately to the dining room. You can mm -hmm. actually see the sight line through the dining room to the family room. Yeah, that's a pretty strong connection. Yeah. <laughs> it's fairly common that when dealing with an open plan house, people think they just have to pick one color that they really like and everything has to be that color. Mm -hmm. I don't subscribe to that rule. Okay. So I would say breaking up and using a number of different colors in here would be nice. Right. Um, and it looks to me like the dining room just needs the final push. Right now it's got the basics and it needs that little pizzazz. It needs some jewelry. <laughs> it needs some pretty in there. And I'm going to start the pretty by putting Kate and Lindsay in here to think about the room layout. Why don't we each do a floor plan? OK. We're looking for something asymmetrical, seating for 10. 10. So I'm curious to see what you can come up with. And then I'll do one, and then we'll compare notes. Anything you can do, I can do better. All right. I'm very open to Sarah's designs. And I think that I will give her carte blanche. Don't peek at mine, Lindsay. Hey, hey, we're supposed to be a team here. Two chairs is really the only way to go in front of the bay window, right? I think so. At first glance, I think that Marjorie's living room has some neat features. The fact that it's somewhat open onto the dining room, the fact that it gets great light, but these are challenges as well. Because everything ends up being so square, it's nice to have some round pieces yeah. to offset all of the square hunks of furniture. Yeah. I didn't want everything to be along the perimeter of the walls. Okay. This is a chaise coming out. Okay. The way you read the living room from the dining room is very unusual. And you'll be sitting in the dining room and you'd be able to see the underside of any of the furniture that sits in front of that railing. Bit of a challenge, but I'm sure the pieces will fall into place. We can fit a lot in here. Three, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Seating for ten. That was my goal. I think where we've got so much happening with that railing already, we've got all of those spindles everywhere. Right. If we go with a whole ton of furniture with long show wood legs, it's going to feel like leg city. Yeah. You've kind of, in both of these plans, ended up with what I thought. Five or six chairs, one sofa, right. and one chaise. Now, what about some fabrics to use on all of this furniture? Um, it's very... Um, it's very beige right now. When you have a house that's as open concept as Marjorie's, you need flow, you need consistency, you need balance. And 
Uh, honestly, that's why she's got a lot of beige. But doesn't she have a lot of beige because she needs help? And shouldn't we be pointing her in the right direction? Is this color bold? Is this color daring? Is this color different from the first two? If you answered yes to all of these questions, you may have a beige problem. No more beige. Call now. I think when you're starting with a blank slate, I don't think it's good enough to go beige. There needs to be some bold color. There has to be something that pushes the boundaries. What do you think of this? Uh, I actually kind of like that. If you're going to go traditional, you're going to mm -hmm. have to have some pattern, right? You can't yep. do traditional and have it all be tone on tone. This has really interesting colors in it. The sort of terracotta mm -hmm. is if she wants it warm. Yes. The brown and green is if she wants it rich. And I would say that something with the creamy background is if she wants the overwhelming feeling to be light and airy. Marjorie's given us carte blanche, or as the French say, carte blanche. But we've got to narrow that down. So I'm sending Kate to see what Marjorie thinks of using these fabrics as a jumping off point. You're always thinking Sarah Richardson. Okay, you ready? Jumping off points. Don't, okay. don't, don't freak out. Please don't be busy. Fabric number one. And number two. <laughs> Fabric number two. Okay. Two's better than one, so we'll do this. And fabric number three. This, my friend, is Holly Hobby. Holly Hobby? <laughs> Ouch. Well, our client has spoken. I was a little surprised by the fabrics that she presented to me today. And the cart may not be so blanche after all. Okay. To be continued. Mm. The good news is that Marjorie doesn't have a lot of clutter in her living room. Wow. The bad news? It's very beige right now. So we're trying to add a little punch to the color. This, my friend, is Holly Hobby. Okay, that punch may have missed the mark. Okay. But in the meantime, we've got to keep moving. Kate? So I'm looking for some furniture options and for Kate. Kate, Kate. I love the sofa. I feel like it's a bit shabby chic. I think she wants something more tailored with a more graceful line to it. Okay. Look at this circle of fun. Now that's for her whole different kind of entertaining. <laughs> is this the shape that she might like for yes. a sofa? Yep. This is more like I'm flopping out at the end of the day to watch TV. Does it have to be a sofa? Would it be better if it was a... Sofa? A sofa. I don't think that's in the dictionary. I think they've made up a new name for it. Is it, it kind of like a tuffet? <laughs> no, a tuffet really exists. What's a tuffet? The thing that little Miss Muffet sat on. Did you ever get one of your kids' bedtime stories just stuck in your head? Those are so Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet. This is like totally sexy glamour puss because you know what's really fun about these? Can I show you? Oh, hi. Oh, hi. You're normally here with Tommy and he doesn't go in clearance rooms, but I'm gonna take you <laughs> in the clearance room. I always, I make you go to the clearance room. Look, look, there's our chairs on sale. See what you can find in clearance? Yeah, but somebody, it's been ripped. <laughs> it has some scars. You'd have to reupholster them. I don't think they would cost too much to reupholster, do you? No, I don't want to buy chairs and then reupholster them. I mean, we get new ones made for less. That gives me an idea. Oh. I have this funny room. It's very long and skinny. So basically, in order to not have each piece of furniture stepping on the next piece of furniture's toes, right. I feel like I need to kind of keep everything as slim okay. and trim as possible. You sort of want it to come rounded like that? Yeah, I would probably say I would want it to be, no, I would probably say, like, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> okay, let me rephrase that. Overall, I just want the impression to be that it is kind of streamlined, elegant, that we're gonna see these curves. Okay. The curves are very important if you're trying to create a feminine space. You're thinking something more light? And so is the fabric. So I've been struggling with what does Marjorie actually really want this room to look like? Yeah. And the best way I can describe it to you yes. is like this. This little number. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I think Marjorie is everything feminine and sexy and she wants girly. She wants girly. Okay, so I, I feel that now we're on the right track. I think the rug should be light. I think the furniture should be curvaceous. And I think the accents and the accessories all need to have 
shimmer. We're gonna use green as an accent because Marjorie liked this fabric. And with a hit of wallpaper, it's the perfect combo. How about that? Mm, that's pretty. I think it would make the fireplace wall far more interesting. Now, we still need client approval. My feeling with Marjorie is she makes decisions quickly. I am the more decisive of the two people in this couple. It would take her months to decorate a room. Years. <laughs> she said that she bought her dining room table because she was having a dinner party. So what we need to do is we need to put it all in a truck and send it in her front door. And I think when she sees it in place, she's gonna really like it. But the first task is to sell Marjorie on the new fabric samples. So sofa, two chairs, and a chaise. Beautiful. Yay! As for the drapes, I found some great ready-made options. Choice number one. I like the shiny. Panel number two. I like it. Not exactly convincing. Now what about three? It's pretty, but it's uh, family bond trap Julie Andrews yeah. drapes to close. I was singing a different tune when I first saw the drapes. Ooh, I like that gray. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? It's very subtle. It's very sophisticated. Ooh. You're saying all the right things. We may have to revisit okay. the curtain question. Okay, so one last thing we need yes. to talk about is the fireplace, which I know has been a kind of an issue for you. I would really want to see a beautiful, fantastic fireplace that doesn't look like a doghouse. I feel strongly that we can decorate around it so that we're not forced to spend a good deal of the budget on making structural changes to the fireplace. Okay. So what we propose is to give you one wall of wallpaper. Okay. I feel strongly this is the right choice. That is not a happy face. And it's fear of unknown. It's nothing, it'll probably look fantastic. You know what, I think it will. Except there's one little thing we may have overlooked. Oh, you know what? What? I never showed you my china. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah, we should see that. Why are you making that face? Because I hope it goes with green. <laughs> Marjorie's house is open concept, and the living room scheme has to tie into the dining room. Oh my god. <laughs> what am I gonna do if it looks awful? We're designing a deluxe living room dining room for Marjorie. It's glitter, 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 glam. Kate was finalizing the color scheme when Marjorie threw us a curve. I never showed you my china. It never even occurred to me because I always think of Marjorie's as a living room. Didn't occur to me to ever check the dining room china and then when she said it I was like, ah, full stop. Oh no, what do I do? Um, luckily. That's fine. It works. Look. Yay. Look at that. That's quite fabulous. That is such a relief. And what's more, Marjorie likes our colors and the layout. It's fabulous. Now we can really get moving. Good. Painter's Great. coming in in a couple days. Okay. Uh, the wallpaper is being shipped. And Does that mean you ordered it before Marjorie said yes? Maybe. <gasps> Maybe. I thought I was like okaying it. <gasps> Note to self: Don't tell Natalie any secrets. To bring your own lamp party. I brought the finishing touch. Look at that. That sort of soft. Yeah, and the color's not bad either. The walls are looking good, but what are we gonna do about the floor? That's 20 where my foot is. There's nothing that we're gonna find that's ready to go at 10 by 20. Right. But the one thing we could do is we could see about getting a piece of wool, broad loom, and just putting a nice wide linen tape on it. Okay, I like that idea. I need a 10 by 20. Yes. Bound. Okay. For Monday. Uh, we'll just have to do some overtime then. Okay. <laughs> nope. As for drapes, Marjorie's pick goes in the living room, but... I would do the gray that had the bit of the flower on it for the dining room, because I actually find that this drape starts going peachy and the wall looks green. It's pretty, but it's uh, family von trap Julie Andrews yeah. drapes to close. <laughs> But I like these drapes. Every time I get one of these, I just want to... <laughs> They'd work as clothes. That goes with my sweater, huh? <laughs> to me, these are two separate rooms. Yeah. And normally we would never do two rooms in the same fabric. I say we try the drapes I found, and I'm sure Marjorie's going to love them in the end. Because the other thing is, I'm thinking about some really nice wall sconces. Okay. And I seem to remember something that has kind of a branch. These are probably the ones she's referring to. Yeah, those are gorgeous. 
which would really tie in the rug, the drapery, sconce, all together, It'd be really nice. Now for my plan to get the furniture approved. We need to put it all in a truck and send it in her front door. And I think when she sees it in place, she's gonna really like it. And swing your partner around it. Look how pretty that is. Yours not bad either. Hey, that's my joke. Every home with a two-year-old needs a white velvet chair or two. Yeah, Nathaniel will be able to look and not sit anywhere. <laughs> Hello? Nope, you can't come in, buddy. Well, at least Marjorie and Deb can enjoy the furniture. It'll be nice. And it's not even finished, and I feel like, no, they don't have to come back. <laughs> oh, we'll be back. Because this living room needs the finishing touches that are going to make it sparkle. It's from the Ming Dynasty. <laughs> it's from the Cha-Ching Dynasty. Where are you from? I don't like it. Is that what you do? Yes, of course. Only you can get away with that. You two can get away with it. I don't know what happened. They didn't ship it. What? What are you talking about? Okay, I'd better get over there before Tommy changes my entire design scheme. We've got five, six, seven, eight. There's easily seating for ten people in here. Oh yes, this plus is we're a gonna very have two room. footstools, so there's twelve. Do you like the lamp I've brought in? The lamps are really nice. They're very. They add a very industrial kind of edge. Mm. But the new chandelier for the dining room is nothing short of spectacular. Beautiful. Mood lighting? The chandelier looks great. Unfortunately, the wallpaper outlook is not as bright. It has a bit of an issue. You might want to get a tissue. The wallpaper arrived, and it's the wrong wallpaper. Is it at least the right color? It's the same pattern, but it's boring. What is it? Ivory. It's cream. Beige. No more beige. That was what we wanted. Yes. Yeah. Vastly. That's what we got. Yeah. Wanted. Got. Got. The problem is that this is coming from the UK and it is now mm, 7 p.m. in the UK, which means that people have been at the pub for a good three hours. I think they've been at the pub for three hours before they got the wallpaper order put together. No, it's this frustrating when it's just the one thing that's out of your hands yeah. that gets screwed up. Oh man, what else could possibly go wrong? Oh, I got a foot cramp. Oh my God. Marjorie's living room was a blank slate. We had nothing in the room forever. So we talked her into... One wall of wallpaper. But that plan is coming unglued. I literally have absolutely everything I need in this house to finish the space except for the wallpaper, which is a really, really important part of this job. If it doesn't arrive, all this work is for nothing. But this story has a happy ending. Thank you. <laughs> you just made my day. Wallpaper's here. Express shipping is a wonderful thing. Okay. Thank you. Well, it was worth, worth wait. waiting for. Uh -huh. Biggest challenge in organizing the space was the fact that Marjorie wanted to be able to use it as a room for entertaining. So immediately to me that means it has to be a more formal room, yet it's in an open concept house. It has to have lots of seating, yet it's a long narrow space. So I knew that we had to come up with a plan that couldn't be symmetrical and that would really kind of have a more refreshing take on how you use a living room. I always love working with a client who has opinions because then I know they're always going to get what they want out of it. I even like my fireplace and I hate my fireplace. At the beginning, the fireplace was an issue for Marjorie. I really didn't see it as an issue and I thought it was fine, but what it really needed was it needed to be properly dressed, it needed to have the right furnishings surrounding it, and then I felt that it would all make sense within the room. I at first didn't think that I would like the wallpaper. But thank God we waited for the right one, because it is beautiful. The color palette we ended up with isn't exactly what I thought we would have going into it. This, my friend, is Holly Hobby. Holly Hobby? Oh, Ouch. Yeah. I realized that what she really wanted was just light and cream, and just really girly, really soft, and elegant. I'm digging the green. 
Really, the dining room was about finishing touches and accessories. So artwork is always very important. Your guests need something to look at. I love the art on the wall. I picked that art. OK, this appeals to me a little. That was my art excursion. Candlelight is key in any dining room for me, so that's why we hung the wall sconces. And they have a gilded tone that's picking up some of the accents that we used in the living room. Wow, those drapes look great. At first, I wasn't sure I liked these drapes, but I'm very fond, and they bring out the carpet. We had to work with the scale of the chandelier. So by choosing something that had a much larger scale that was more proportionate to the size of the table, it's made a really big difference. And after that, it was really just a few accessories and setting the table so it is ready to receive visitors. I think a room should say a lot about the person who lives here, and that's how I'm telling the story of Marjorie. It's like Sarah walked into my head and I went, it is above and beyond anything I could have imagined in my wildest dreams.